Snapchat. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a snail's base. Uh, it's really simple, and if you're not familiar with snails, you should. Here's a good example of like his style base. So it kind of has that like vomity, grimy pig squeal base going on there. It's pretty sick. Um, it's really simple to make, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All you need is massive, and uh, that's really about it. So, anyway, we're gonna pull up. Actually, I'll show you in context what I got so far. This is uh, using it in context, but we're gonna be focusing on this guy right here. <laughs> So not not the prettiest wrap. I made it in like ten minutes, but you know, uh, but this right here is really what we're going to be focusing on. That just sick, grimy. So uh, it's really easy. So just EQ and massive and macro, and you're good to go. So here's the patch right here. Um, you could you could pause and copy it if you want. It's just one oscillator, a deep throat, spectrum. You want to do a plus one, and then you want to drag your LFO5 with that, two over one, and then you want to drag that right there, and then do minus 12. And then you're going to go to the comb filter, and then just copy the comb filter settings right there. And then you're going to use there's a little uh, classic tube right in the middle, right in the middle pretty much. And then just a little bit of chorus, maybe like one third of the chorus, all the knobs right there. And then just boost the high shelf just a tad bit. And then the last thing we're gonna focus on is the sign shaper. Sign shaper dry wet should be right in the middle and the drive should be about two thirds. And then that's literally the patch. There's nothing else special about it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, so without the EQ, you have this. So it still sounds pretty cool, but you know, with tweaking the EQ, you could get a more defined uh, grimy sound. So that this is without again. This is with. And you, you could EQ it however you like, but I'll go ahead and show you my, uh, my macros and where I have it macroed. So I'm gonna show you real quick. You could screen, you could pause it, and then just copy this. Pretty much, you're just gonna macro frequency frequency A and well, yeah, you're gonna do number one and number two and and three, but uh, EQ eight three two and one yeah. So just pretty much just copy that right there, and then as you turn this knob right here, which I have it. Just like that. And like I said, you experiment, but just that EQ modulating there makes a world of difference. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it.